people always ask me, they say, well, Ice, why are you always up at Sing Sing? Why do you go to prisons all the time? And I'm like, this is really like therapy for me. Now, I don't know, some of y'all might have just seen me show up on SVU in your life recently. I am far from a cop. <laughs> There's a term they call victim of circumstances. A lot of people don't understand the circumstances that get people in trouble or where you start. And I always think about it, I'm like, what, what started me down that road? And I think what happens is at some point you lose hope. Like a kid or somebody with no hope, they ain't got nothing to lose. So there's just, it's so easy to make bad decisions. Your brain just says, so what? I ain't got no dad at home, I ain't got no mom at home, I ain't got no money, I'm not gonna make it, so let me take this chance. Now, as I've actually moved up in my life, I have a lot more to lose, so you start to weigh out these things. But when you're dealing with most of these gentlemen that are in this institution, if I ask them every time I get here, I say, when? 17, 18, 19. Really before, that's when they go in, that's how old they are. This is even before your brain is even capable of making great decisions. Anybody in this audience, if I ask you, compare what you thought about at 18 to how you feel now, you'll say, I was out of my fucking mind at 18. <laughs> I, I, everything I thought at 18 was wrong. Everything. So now you take a kid, let's put him into a situation. He, he's, he's not, he he's, doesn't have a lot. He's stuck. His decision-making process is going to be terrible. Add a gun, add the pressure of the hood, you understand? Because a lot of people don't come from, when you come from the hood, I come from the ghetto, I come from South Central Los Angeles, and manhood is at a premium, okay? You can't, everyone's pushing on you. You know, I'm a light-skinned dude, I got green eyes, hazel eyes, my name is fucking Tracy. <laughs> you ever heard that song, Boy Named Sue? I, had, I was under pressure. I got, I'm an orphan. I got no brothers, no mother. I'm, 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 so I'm either going to be predator or prey. There, there's pressure. You don't understand. It's not like in the hood. They, they're gonna, there's predators. People are going to, you got to be tough. You got to start lifting weights. You got to get ready for every day going to school. I mean, I don't know if a lot of y'all ever had to deal with that, but it's, sometimes it's terrifying just leaving the house. So what am I gonna do? Am I gonna be prey? No, I'm gonna be the bad guy. I'm gonna be crazier than everybody else. Like 50 Cent said in one of his records, he said, this ain't how my mama raised me, this how the hood made me. I, so you get caught up into this mental and then you turn into this weird kind of monster but it's a security device. You're trying to just stay, stay alive. You wanna keep people off your back. People look at me today, they say, why is your face like that? You seem angry. I'm like, my face is just fucked up and stuck like this from growing up. <laughs> this look, you see, this is nigga don't not fuck with me right now. But I'm not, I don't really want you messing with me because I'm the nicest guy you ever meet. I'm nice. I, I, don't, I don't want no problems, but this is a defense mechanism. So I didn't know I was coming to a musical event. I didn't know, they said, they want y'all to come up to sing, sing and talk. I'm like, hell yeah, I got a day off, I'll come. So, you know, but in my music, what I did was I tried to give you the mindset of the street kid. You know, uh, I did a song for New Jack Hustler, uh, for the movie New Jack City, where some of the lyrics I say, well, here I come. So you better break north. As I stride, my gold chain slides back and forth. I care nothing about you, and that's evident. All I love is my dope and dead president. Sound crazy? Well, it isn't. The ends justifies the means. That's the system. I learned that in school, and then I dropped out, hit the streets, checked the grip, and now I got clout. I had nothing, and I wanted it. You had everything, and you flaunted it. Turned the needy into the greedy. With cocaine, my success came speedy. Got me twisted, jammed into a paradox. Every dollar I get, another brother drops. Maybe that's the plan and I don't understand. God damn, you got me sinking in quicksand. But since I don't know and I ain't never learned, I gotta get paid, I got money to earn. With my posse out on the Ave, bump my sounds, crack a 40 and laugh. 
cool out and watch my new Benz gleam. Is this a nightmare or the American dream? So think twice if you're coming down my block. You want a journey through hell? Well, shit gets hot. Pregnant teens, children's screams. Life is weighed on the scales of a triple beam. You don't come here much and you better not. Wrong move, ambulance cot. I got to get more money than you got. So what if some motherfucker gets shot? That's how the game is played. Another brother slayed. The wound is deep, but y'all giving us a Band-Aid. The education's low, but I got long dough. I'm raised like a pit bull. My heart pumps nitro. I sleep on silk, lie like a politician. My Uzi's my best friend, cold as a mortician. Lock me up, that's genocidal catastrophe. There'll be another one after me, a hustler. Now, when you lock these people up and you don't deal with the problem, it's never gonna stop. So now you gotta think, what puts kids into this mental mindset? That's the issue. What puts people in this mindset where they don't have any hope? And they go, uh, Maybe this is an option. You don't find kids that are going to Harvard robbing liquor stores. It's not racial. It's they have hope. They see a future. But when I don't see a future, and I'm like they say, I'm touching and I'm hungry, anything can happen at any moment. So I try to tell the brothers when I come in here, I just say, look, man, there's no reason you can't make that change. There's no reason you can't change your way of thinking. I was worse or just as bad as anybody in here. Now I'm a cop. I've been on TV <laughs> 16 years playing a cop. And there's people, oh, Ice-T, he's such a great, wonderful person. He's such a great, wonderful person. And their daughter's like, do you really know who Ice-T is? Ice-T is crazy, right? You don't know that. But I'm a cop. Now, it's funny, when I got the job for Law & Order, Dick Wolf, great man, uh, he said to me, Ice, well, you're not too fond of the police, are you? I said, well, I was a criminal, so I never, and when I was a criminal, I never looked at the cops. I never hated the cops, because I knew I was breaking the law. A real criminal doesn't, look, doesn't hate the cops. The cops are the opponent. It's not, I don't hate you. You told me I can't do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. So if you catch me, I cuff off. I'm busted. You did? But I never hate him. I just thought I was smarter than him. So he said, uh, but you agree we need police, right? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I got some friends they just need to find right now. <laughs> and he says, well, play the cop we need. So when you watch me on SVU, you're dealing with a character I'm playing with my sensibility. If I had somehow magically had a badge and I had to go out and go after, and you know, the thing of it is the cats that we chase on my show are rapists and child molesters and they're not even respected in these facilities. So I'm not, I'm, I'm, there's no gray area in SVU. You know, we just go after them. But me on a daily basis, I deal with the same dilemmas that these brothers deal with on a daily basis. Just because I'm on TV, don't think people don't pressure me, threaten me. Uh, you know, I go out, people want to test me. I got a beautiful wife, they want to test that. Don't think those old triggers aren't still there. Like, you cross me, people don't cross me. But fortunately, I have a support group of friends that say, Ice, calm down. That's nothing. I don't think anybody in here has ever hit a point where they had not thought that payback was valid. These guys in here were 18 and 17 trying to make these decisions. You're an adult. Your brain, some, hopefully somebody will grab you and say, man, man, listen, listen. Forget about that right now. You know, I'm talking about being ready to go do some really bad things. Because my manhood is a certain way, I feel I've been bred this way. Like, you know, so I had to learn that every bit of disrespect does not deserve reprimand from me. God will deal with them. I found that a sucker is a sucker, and eventually he'll see somebody. Doesn't have to be me. <laughs> but I had to learn that. And I learned that by coming here and talking to these inmates. And like I say, this is therapy for me because I'm not, I'm not like you. I'm more like them, you know? 
And people have this soul theory, oh, well, you're on TV now, you got some money, and it gets worse. It gets worse, you know? You got people saying, or else, and this, that, and the third. You're like, who, what, to what? <laughs> crazy and I mean we don't use lawyers I don't use the police I'm not I'm, I'm from another era where we we got a problem we go talk to you personally and it's different <laughs> you know I never use police my life I just feel if there's a problem I'll go knock on your door I'll come see you we go talk you say oh I'm gonna do something to you we go meet you you know that all can end up terrible so I've just had to learn to calm down but I got nothing but love for what, especially this institution, the warden and everybody's doing here is unique. I'm from California. They believe in crime and punishment. There's no rehabilitation. They warehouse people out there. My boys are in Pelicans Bay, CMC. My friends, I, the, the crew I grew up with, most of them got what they call the LWAPs. You know what an LWAP is? That's life without possibility of parole. That's the level of characters I hung out with. When they all went to prison, they said, Ice, do not come to jail. You got action. Do not come. This is not where you belong. So no square kept me out of jail. My friends in prison kept me out of jail. The guys I admired that I thought was cooler than me, they said, Ice, fool, you better be on TV, man. You know, they told me, say, Ice, you the only police that they cheer for up in the penitentiary. <laughs> So the truth of the matter is, is why I'm here is not so much for you, it's for me. It's for me to say, when I come up and I see those gates and I, I just know one split decision prior or tomorrow could put me here. I'm cut like that. And uh, thank God for all my close friends and everybody to keep me grounded. But, uh, you know, I just want to give a round of applause to this particular facility for even letting me in because, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I see, oh, I see, he didn't even do calculus, you know, like, who is he? No, he's his problem. But this warden sees past that. And like, like, I think what the man was saying with Ted, could the problem become the solution? Well, I got news for you. When you talk to the kids, they don't want to hear from no squares. They want to hear from somebody who's been through it. They only respect the cat that had a, carried a gun. I carried a gun so long, I had a bruise in my leg for like a year. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know what that is, to sleep like that and do this. I was just talking to some of the guys over there yesterday, oh, a minute ago, I was like, the better thing when you get to the other side and you're legit, this is gone. They know what that is. It's like, who's going to be the next person to come get me or something? So thank God for Sing Sing and all the inmates and, and the fact you can get a, y'all got master's degree, man. I ain't got no fucking master's degree. Man. What the fuck? Think it's something to sing Shakespeare? Do I need to come here to get educated? No. This is, there's other ways. You can get it online. But let me end it with a song, with, with some lyrics and stuff, because a lot of people, they don't like rap music, but if it's done correctly, it's poetry. You know, I don't know what they're doing right now. You know, shake your booty music. That's okay. But I did something different. This one uh, starts like this. If I mess up, I can't because this ain't a concert, so don't trip. Because I didn't know I was going to come up here to rap. I didn't, you know. So let's see. I spent my life between the light blue lines of loose leaf. I split my time between impressionable mind and true beef. I spent my days up, nights up. It's too hard to sleep. Look at my face. It's not the one of someone in peace. I carry guns when I don't need to. But my mind's so fucked, I see assassins jumping out of the rough. I keep my doors shut, windows shut, shades down, full pound, waiting on some Satans who may think of invading. When I do sleep, I dream about pain and unrest, about gunfights and dum-dums exploding my chest. I see my boys that have died sitting with me again. And when I wake, I realize I lost most of my friends. Will my past come back to get me? Will them niggas that we shot come back to wet me? I'm paranoid. It ain't easy when your lifestyle was grimy and greasy. I'm trying to make peace with the karma or drama. God, please believe me. Sometimes I even think that I'd be better off dead. I went to doctors. They stuck probes on the side of my head. They say, you're fine. They say, you're well. They say, you're on TV. I said, I know, but I think somebody's coming for me. 
If they seen what they seen and been where I've been, they know that I've committed the evilest sins. If they knew what I knew and had done what I'd done, they lay awake at night and they would trust no one. I got the cars, girls, crib, jewels, cash to the max. My brain's playing war games. I can't relax. It ain't easy when your lifestyle was grimy and greasy. I'm trying to make peace with the karma, drama. God, please believe me. So I tried to get my life right and teach the youth. I did my days of gang banging, so I worked on the truce. I spit game to the little niggas all that I can because they admire my style. They like the way that I am. They like the cars, the gold, the big rock rings. I try to teach them about the pain that the fast cash brings. But no matter what I say, they see the game every day and the riches are the ones that have the courage to play. Get rich or die trying, that's what all of them say. What can I do? I live my fucking life that way. I'm not your role model. My road's too dirty to follow. Every phone calls another case of death of life. I'm trying to struggle with the paradox of wrong and right. And since I live by the gun, will I die by the knife? Thank you. Thank you.